All right, good afternoon, dear viewer. I want to welcome you to this session of answering uh, past questions in technical drawing. Just like the effort has been, all this while we have been trying to see how we can bring this solution set to your doorsteps. Now, this year, we'll, this time around, we're going to be answering 2020 objective questions of technical drawing. Before this moment, I already have some questions that have been answered, which are already in YouTube in my channel. And those questions include 2017, 2018, 2019 questions. They are already online. So you can check on them so that you can be able to add to your experience of these past questions and get yourself balanced. Because we came to the that some of the questions are repeating themselves with time. So by the time you master all these things, answering objective will be very, very simple and easy. So like this channel, share it, and then get it notified. Click the notification button so that anytime I release any of these videos, you can lay hold on them. Just like I have promised, by the time I'm through with answering these objective questions, I will now channel my energy towards answering the theory questions and the difficult part, which is the practical aspect. All of them will come up, which I intend to all assemble in a web page or on a blog, where you can have all these things channeled as one whole unit, and uh, you can see all these things, practical and everything, so people can have access to them at the same time. All right, I haven't therefore said this, the best way you can appreciate me is to like this channel, subscribe to this channel, uh, like this video, and then distribute to share it for other people to be able to see. So having said all this, therefore, I want to welcome you to this session now. We are going to answer this question. Now, what you see on the front screen on this particular uh, screen now is the first thing you see on top of a, you know, in your technical drawing question. The moment you open the question paper, there they show you example question of what the questions are and how you're going to answer them. So by the time you've decided, just like they gave this question here, this is a question. And the correct answer is C. I'll show you how to shape this. Make sure you shade it like this within these two square brackets to avoid shading it into another space because these options are very closely uh, arranged on the answer sheet. Making that mistake can affect you seriously during the marking scan. So let us now go ahead and then answer the questions that we have here. Section A says you should answer all the questions. There are 30 questions in Section A, so you are to answer these 30 questions. And it is made up of all the general knowledge in technical drawing, geometry, and all the construction, geometrical constructions, plane figures, and the rest of them. So on that note, therefore, you will find yourself answering 30 questions. Then we have from 31 to 40 made up of Section B. Uh, divided into the building and machine drawing. When we get to that place, we'll make comments on that. Question number one, which of the following information is not included in the title block? All the information given in these options are included except D. You don't mention time limits. When you're going to finish your answer or when you start your exam and when you're going to finish it, nobody requests for that. The correct answer is D. Question number two, a line is drawn 12 centimeters on a scale of one ratio 50. The actual length is what? So check out the illustration given for this question. It will help you see how the answer was arrived at. Question number two, a line is drawn 12 centimeters on a scale of one ratio 50. The actual length is what? Now see, this is a scale thing. I will imagine you that is scale. It is the size of the paper, all of our size in real life. If this is one ratio, that means one over fifty. That means on paper, it is one in real life, 
the size of this, you realize 50 times this particular amount in real life. Do you get that? So they now say that on paper, actually, it's 12 centimeters. So you can now remove this one and then see 12 centimeters in this one. So in real life now, what will you do? What will this going to be? What is it going to be? On paper, okay, in this is what is What is it going to be done? Simple. We don't know the size of this one size. Cross multiply this time this. S is going to be 5 times what? 12. And what are you going to get? The value is going to be um, 600. But in the options here, there is no 600. Because the value here is going to be 600 centimeters. However, 1 centimeter, or rather 1 meter, is the same thing as what? 100 centimeters. So to convert this value in the form of what? Uh, meters, you have to divide it by 100. So the answer becomes 6 centimeters, sorry, 6 meters on paper. The correct answer in this particular one is C, is the correct answer. Question number three, which of the following is dimension wrongly? Uh, is, sorry, is dimension correctly? The one that is correct is A. The dimension line is correct. It's a chain method that is used. Show no the distance from here to here. The distance from here to here is represented by this arrowhead. Distance from here to here, this arrowhead shows it. But this one is telling us distance from here to here, meaning combining this part and this part by this one. Then we come and start, it's ambiguous. This dimension here is ambiguous. This place is ambiguous. This is also ambiguous. So B, C, and D are wrong. A is the correct answer. A broken line in an orthographic view represents what? All right, the correct answer is hidden detail. Actually, the another name for broken line is hidden short dashes. Yes, this name, broken line, is another name for it is short dashes. It is always used to represent hidden details of an of a drug. But the correct answer is D. Number five, which of the following figures shows a common internal tangent? A is external, B is external. This one does not represent any dimension. This is the correct internal tangent by all construction. So the correct answer is D. Number six, a plane figure with two opposite sides parallel. All right. Number six, a plane figure with two opposite sides parallel, mm -hmm. but not equal, is what? The two opposite sides are parallel, but they are not equal. It is trapezium. Every other thing here doesn't have parallel lines that are equal, and then they are not equal. Parallelogram, the opposite sides are all equal. So the correct answer is what? B. Number seven, the perpendicular distance between two parallel line sides of a trapezium is what? Perpendicular distance is called the height. The correct answer to this one is B, it's called the height. Please study the figure properly and use it to, we're going to use it to answer questions number eight and number to turn number ten. Number eight. The tangent is perpendicular to the line what? The answer is both B. Look at it. Do you see this one? The line that is tangent x, y is always perpendicular to the radius O P. That is why the correct answer is B. The shaded segment is bounded by the chord and the shaded area, you see it? This is the shaded area. It's a bounded by what? The chord. This is the chord, the line here. The next thing that called here is an arc. So the answer is what? B. Arc is the answer. An arc. The triangle POQ and the shaded portion form a, a sector. The answer is this. Look at it. The triangle, this one, together with the shaded portion, all of them form what? A sector. The correct answer is going to be what? C. The correct answer is D, which is what? A sector. Now, in the if, if line x, y is the tangent to the circle in figure 2, the value of the angle k is what? Of course, look at this. 
this angle 65 extend to this line, please. So ignore the fact that they give a space in this place. It's not true. There's no how you can be able to draw an angle by using a curve. To get an angle, measure an angle by using a curve. So this line from here to this line is 65 degrees. And then a tangent, a, a radius of a circle is always at 90 degrees to a tangent. Therefore, if you subtract 65 from 90, the correct answer is going to be what? 25, which is D. Now, the triangle P O P Q R shown in figure 3 is A. It says, right, this dancer here is what is inscribed. The triangle is inserted inside the circle is inscribed. I think we are talking about the circle. You can say it is circumscribed to the triangle, but it is the triangle we are talking about. So it is inserted inside the world triangle, the circle. So it is inscribed. The answer is C. Which of the following is constructed using the principle of involute? Involute is always used to construct the gear profile. So the answer is A. The locus of a point, of a moving point, take with distance from another fixed point is what? They didn't say fixed line, it's a fixed point. The fixed point is normally used for second. The fixed line can be parabola, hyperbola. Ellipse does not require any of these things. All right, ellipse, yes, may require a fixed point, but they are always two, not one. All right, but circle requires only one fixed point. So the correct answer is A. The circular portion of an object drawn in isometric will appear as what? There is an illustration that tells us, that leads you into knowing how the right pattern that we will use to answer this question. Now, question number 15. Question number 15. We have this question to the right, written to us. It says the circular portion of an object drawn in isometric appears as what? Circular portion of an object. In isometric form, we know that the object is going to be, if it's circular form, you appear before it. When you have the center line introduced, are you getting it? You use the ordinate method or the square method, or like the rhombus method to draw this or this particular one. Suggestion says that the method is man that you should join this place. Then this choose one of this side and join. Choose one of this side and join this side again. So you will need this point, this point, this point, and this point to draw the circle in that of the form. Let's see your pin here. This curve will come in. Let's see your pin here and then your pencil here. A curve here will come in. Let's see it here. This one will come in. And place it here. The other one will come in. It is well. It's going to be in this format. If I draw this thing well, the pattern that will appear is going to be an ellipse. So the correct answer is what? Is A. Number 16, which of the following is not an angle of subject? The answer is what? Second. B. There's not like second angle because first angle takes the position of second angle. Every other thing exists in terms of orthography, projection, and auxiliary drawing. Answer is B. Use figure 4 to answer questions 17 and 18. So look at this figure very properly. Hmm? They say the figure number 17 says, the figure shows the development of nothing but cylinder. Of course, when you fold this area, fold it, or let me fold this one. You will discover you're going to put a cylinder, but actually it is a rectangle. So when you fold it, you're going to have a cylinder. So we have it. the answer is C. To construct the lid using the figure, dimensions X and Y represent what the answer is D major axis and minor axis. This is rectangular method for constructing ellipse. Now, we have this drawing. We say study the figure, give it figure five properly. And now we say we're to use it to answer question 19 and question number 20. So look at it very well. 
Now, which of the following diagrams okay. represents the... So there is an illustration that helps you to understand this one correctly. Now, question number 19. Question number 19. Number 20, the figure is drawn in words, it's first angle. So long as the front is up, it's up on top, then the plan is below, it is first angle. Are you getting it? So the correct answer here is what? It's A. Now, question number 21 has a direct illustration, illustrative video. Uh, an illustration that will help you understand how to decide the answer. Question 21. The figure 6 shows the plan of A. I have the figure that is right here is something that is like this. Of course, the object that can be in this kind of pattern is always looks like this. Hexagonal pyramid. Hexagonal pyramid. Plan is from the top of this. I get it looking at it from the top. That's the plan. So the correct answer will be D is the correct answer. The ground level of an slurry view is always worked. Check out the video given now to illustrate how the answer will be got. Now, they say the ground level of an auxiliary field is always what? That's question 22. The ground level of an auxiliary field is what? See, we always have the vertical and horizontal field. We project this, our object in orthographic form. But auxiliary form does not exist in this principle, there is it should be somewhere here. So let me illustrate it now. When you have a cube like this and another cube like this and you want to produce it in a in a in a, in a, in a what we call it in auxiliary form, normally we are going to call it a one or two. So in the auxiliary form is going to be in this direction. I get it. It's going to be in this direction. It's going to go like this. Alright? So when we have this particular one, we have it this way. So this ground level is going to occupy here, we'll call it one. And the other one is going to occupy here, we'll call it two. Ground level is at the foot here. This line that you draw first before you sit the remaining object there is called the auxiliary plane. And the answer here, therefore, is inclined. It's not in horizontal or vertical, this line is inclined. So the correct answer here is what C. That is the correct answer. Number 23, which of the following shows the correct plan of the first room of the square pyramid in figure 7? There is a video that helps you to decide which one is the correct answer. Question number 23 says, which of the following shows the correct plan view of the first of the square pyramid in figure 7? Alright, look at this object. Look at this object, the way it is after the job. It's a square pyramid. 
So we have a pyramid of this nature. Alright, that's the square base. Mm -hmm. And then it happened to be that the pyramid turns like this. Then they cut it this way. Alright, they cut it the other way. And then we have something like this. Removing this particular area. That is what this drawing is saying. So here it comes up. Now, do you see the nice they plan you? When you look at this thing from the top, you will observe that uh, you know we are seeing this thing from here, and that is when you can see it like that. That is the front direction of it. According to this plane line, okay? I get it. Now, you will notice that the line from here to here is wider than the one from here to here, and if you are starting from here and you from the top, you will notice the correct plan will be A. A is the correct answer for this kind of problem. A is the correct answer. Question number 24. Which of the sections below is correctly hashed? The answer is D. Since there are three parts in this drawing, the dimension in the hatching line should face different directions. Simple. But if you check the other ones, there are errors in the hatching. Hence, the correct answer is D. Question number 25 contains uh, uh, the, an illustration to help you choose which answer is correct. Question 25. We have something like this. A cone. This is a cone that was truncated this way. Now, if you are to complete this particular one, to be able to develop this, ask and say, what is the true development of this cone? Some of you already know to know that. We we'll use what is already done in the top, whereby you want to draw a foot of cone here and draw curves. Hmm? Draw curves. Alright, so you draw the plan, you divide it into various parts and then spread this part. Let us say this is your C, one one. So you call your one and then you call your two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From there you're going to now fragment this into one. You have two, three, four, five, six, and the rest of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. I divide it into 64 parts. Or something like that. All those like that. So you will notice that if you follow this, thing, this pattern is going to appear like this. If you really develop this thing, there will be curve. And in this place, the only curve that you want this pattern is going So B is the correct answer, is the correct development for this complicated. Cool. Now, question number 26. They gave us an object presented in photographic form that they asked us how many faces does the block have. So the wise way to answer this question is to arrange these two faces in isometric. That will help you to be able to answer that question. It says we're going to show two faces of the block. In photographic, of course. How many faces have the blow, has the blow? Just the blow, if you join it in a symmetric, it's going to look like this. It's going to look this way. That asks you how many pieces comes to You see one here, there's a copy there. That is two. You see one here, there's a copy there. That is two. You see one here, there's a copy here. That is two. You see one here, there's a copy here. That is two. You see one here, there's a copy here. That is two. How many pieces? Ten. And you can see that in this particular piece, the answer is what? A. This is what? Correct. So the answer for this particular object is 
Question number 26 requires a demonstration for the answer to be no. Question number 27, the method of drawing ellipse by concentric circle method is also called ordinate. The other method have their own names, but like this trauma method is different. There's nothing like auxiliary method, but we can have focal point method. So the correct answer is what ordinate, and that is A. Which of the following solids octahedron? Octahedron has eight sides, and it's only A that has that thing here. So the correct answer in this case is A. Figure 10 shows the, the penetration of two what? Cylinders. How do we know? This line, center line, and the other center line shows that this part and this other part are cylinders, each of them. So, there are two cylinders that are joined together. The symbol shown in figure 11 represents what is an insulator. The answer is C. The answer is C, insulator. Section B is now part one, it's for building job. Here it is for people who are very much specialized in building. So WIAC allows us to that option to help you actually show areas of specialty. All right, section B or part two of this section B is made of this mechanical drawing. There, those who are also good in mechanical construction and drawing can have the opportunity to demonstrate themselves, to show what they have they've got. So in this case, if you know both very well, then there's no how you fail this part of the session. So that if you don't know an answer to the one in A in building drawing, you can use the answer to the one in machine drawing to answer it because the two answers are always the same. What I mean is this, taking number 31 for illustration. If the answer in building drawing for 31 is A, then answer for building machine drawing in 31 will also be A. So for this reason, you don't need to fail. So let's go on. Which of the following shows the overall length and breadth of a building? There is no projection you have for building that will show all the, these two parts of the building. The length of it and the breadth, if not the plan. So the correct answer is the last to see both. Which of the following convention represents a double swing door? There was one of the videos where I had this question and then I chose this one. But now, after a proper study, we discovered that this doesn't swing double. It swings and stops here and go back. But in this case, you can see this dash line, meaning that this door can fling to this side and it's in double, double swing. So what it means now is that A is the correct answer and not B. So A is the perfect and correct answer. Take a good study of this diagram. We're going to use it to answer the questions numbering from 33 to 36 of building drawing. The part level P shows what? Where's the part P? You can see it here. P is here. The pointing at this thing, it is the folding. So the correct answer is D, folding. The portion labeled R is located where? All right, this is R, it's placed on top of the window. It is called, normally this name is what? Is the linter. But the, it's placed on top of what window? The correct answer is C. The portion S is what? Let's take at S, look at S. It's pointing to the surface of the floor. So the right name for this is what? Floor finish, the correct answer is B. The correct answer is B. Which of the following is not shown on the figure? The only thing that does not appear in this figure is parapet. Parapet is normally found on top of the roof, the mount edge of the roof, not this particular object. So parapet is on the top of the roof. The correct answer is A.
The electrical symbol shown in figure 13 represents what? It's a transformer, no any other. It's a transformer. D. Which of the following parts of the building has both thread and rods? It's a staircase. It has a thread where your leg lands as you are climbing. Arise where your leg have to go up to meet the next thread. So the answer is C. But the tenor, a door made of steel is represented by which of the following symbols? The correct answer is what? C. That's a symbol for steel. Is C. Is C. Last question in building drawing. The type of staircase, stairs that have landing which turns through right angles and continue to the next floor is called what? Quarter turn. The answer is D. Is quarter turn. Now the mechanical option. So for those who are very good in mechanical drawing, this is your own part now. A figure 14 shows a conventional representation of a word. It's a tube. Round tube, not a solid tube. It's round tube. The answer is here. This is a hole. It is because it has a tube. There is a hole inside here. That's what is called what? A tube. Are you getting it? Not pipe. All right, it's a tube. All right, the answer is C. Now, the part labeled Y in figure 15, that's question number 32, is what? This part, Y, is called null. Null, null is a roughness created on the surface of a smooth object to enable you grab it so that friction can exist. So that is what that case is. It is A. The name is that way. The answer is what A. Now, you say study this diagram and use it to answer question 33, 34, and 35. What is the overall height of the block? Look at it. This is the height of the block from the bottom to the top, and the number here is 24. So the correct answer is 24, and that is B. The portion leveled K is the portion leveled K is what is a slot where you insert the space. And that is this portion leveled is a who? A slot where you can insert something inside. Number 35. Which of the following shows the third view in first and third view? We are giving two views here. First, second view, the third view. In first angle. First angle should be by this side. So for that reason, the only thing you're going to see is this particular one. The answer is B. Correct answer is what B, which is this one. All right. Question number 36. Figure 17 shows the wording symbol of what? If the answer is in this case is what square board joint. That's the correct answer. Square board joint. That's the correct answer for this particular diagram. Question number 37. The two shown in figure 18 is what? Is Allen key. Yes, it's Allen key. It's normally used to use Allen knots. All right, the answer is D. Now the rivet 38, the rivet hair shown in figure 19 is called what? It is called pan. It's pan head for you know rivets. The answer is C. Question 39. Which of the following types of screw has no head? The answer is C. Grub key. Grub key. In fact, called called grub nuts or grub screw. It has no head at all. It doesn't have head. Question 40. The conventional representation shown in figure 20 is called what? It is square on, on shaft. There is a shaft here. And this symbol you have here represents a square top. So square on this shaft. The answer is D. Well, with this, we'll come to the end of these particular questions and answering.
Thank you for your time. There's a wonder of sunset at evening.